Hello everyone, I am Pranay Sharma. I am an assistant professor in computer engineering, Gokul Global University. So, uh, the talk that I will be delivering today is based on an introductory uh, session, which is uh, especially on artificial intelligence. I will cover what exactly AI is, right? And uh, it will be from basic to dynamics. What exactly is happening across the world? What are the things that we uh, need to learn? Because I, I have often seen that many people, they tend to confuse themselves when they talk about AI. They relate AI directly to robotics or robots, which is, you know, comparatively true. But uh, this is not uh, the complete angle. The complete angle is something else. So what exactly artificial intelligence is? It is a word that is coined by two different words, right? Artificial and intelligence. Although I am clubbing them as a single word, but it is not a single word. So artificial is something that is not, you know, uh, into living practices. And intelligence is something that homo sapiens have got. So what exactly I mean to say when I say that homo sapiens, they have got intellect. When we are, you know, trying to create something artificially with respect to intelligence, that gives us something known as artificial intelligence. That means we are working more on simulation. We are uh, asking machines to perform uh, something which is, you know, so, uh, only a human being can perform. So this is how we categorize something as artificial intelligence. Simulation is one such best example. So if you, you know, uh, utter something, let us say if you say anything to Alexa, to switch off lights, to switch on lights, to play a music. So this is something that you are actually, you know, narrating to uh, a particular machine. Machine cannot, you know, uh, give you a prompt response with respect to analysis. However, Alexa is doing it. So that is something that comes under artificial segment. We have created it. We have trained the model in such a way that yes, Alexa is giving us a prediction whatsoever, you know, we are giving based on their judgment, based on the model's judgment. Alexa, uh, Google Home. So these are the things, these are the devices that we use uh, normally nowadays. Google Maps, yes, we have often seen this that uh, multiple times, you know, when we uh, try to have uh, an articulation related to uh, trajectory that we follow, if we are unaware of a location, so we usually do, uh, we, we usually take help of Google Maps. We usually go rely on, you know, different, different maps. So these maps are giving us the predicted outcome right that this this is the place where you will be finding more traffic so it is based on the judgment now this they are you know doing it manually so first we need to train them like the way we are training a, a kid it is like spoon feeding something so ai is nothing but a model that you are training right so for that we need multiple data right that is available across uh, web the uh, the famous you know source is kegel where you can you know fetch multiple data as such and then you can you know train your model so once your model is trained then the model will give the accurate prediction now we talk more on ai umbrella what exactly it is right so artificial intelligence you can consider this as a pool under this we have machine learning and deep learning what exactly machine learning is machines are learning from the data that is available either it is available over web or we can also you know uh, collect the data manually and then we can feed in the machine then we talk about deep learning so ai if you consider ai as a big pool or an umbrella under that umbrella we have ml and D dl dl it learns complex patterns right like images nlm so this is something that is something that categorizes under this particular phase if we talk about machine learning, so what exactly machine learning is, I told you that it is something that is a subset. Subset is a categorization or a sub part of the biggest umbrella AI. It learns from the data. We have simple examples. The way we, you know, put spam filters on emails. Now, how do we put it? If something is related to a monetary transaction or a lottery, if you get an intimation that congratulations, this particular, you know, NGO or uh, trust has announced a lottery based system and you have won it. So that is something that our model will classify first as a spam, right? And later on, it will try to identify whether it is actually a, spa a spam or not. It will ask you to reclassify it. Are you considering this as a spam or not? Then stock price predictions so the way we are you know analyzing rsi macd and multiple other factors in order to compare what exactly the price uh, of a stock is 
with respect to future predictions if we come to know that yes this is the entry point and this is the exit point then it will be uh, you know definitely fructifying uh, situation for us now imagine an ai model is doing it for you that ai model is actually predicting the prices so that you can make your entry and exit moves based on your uh, choices you will get music recommendations movies recommendations right the way we uh, browse our ott netflix uh, amazon uh, prime or any other you know segment that you are exploring you continuously get uh, multiple recommendations and suggestions so this is based on the preference that you have followed whatever the video that you have seen earlier that video is taken as the data right and that will be treated as a data set for that particular model after that the model automatically analyzes if something new comes up if something new goes up in the uh, internet or over the web then that model will in inform you that yes this is something available and it is based on your preference why don't you go through with it right so we can use it in uh, marketing as well now in order to have all these things structured we have different categorizations right i told you that the way we are you know treating our kid in in similar way we should be you know making our model learn so we follow different tactics the very first one is supervised learning supervised learning is it is learning from the label data now you imagine that if we have a cat right cat is the image of a cat is given to the model and the model is already being aware of that this is actually a, a, an image related to a cat right like the way we are you know uh, spoon feeding our kids that yes this is cat this is dog so this is something that categorizes under label data so if we have let us say uh, a very large data 80 percent of the data will be treated for training and rest 20 percent is used for testing you have also observed this whenever you are creating an image and if you are asking you know uh, an ai model or an llm model to generate an image uh, let us say uh, of you holding a mic in your hand then if you are a right-hander and you get an image which is uh, considering you as a left-hander that means you are holding a mic on your left node or your left hand so you again you know give a prompt to that llm model that i am not a left-hander i am a right-hander why don't you change it again that you know uh, model will give you a reply which is the very common one that yes i apologize for the mistake but the model again makes the same mistake so why is that happening because the model gets trained by using that particular segment right it may possible that the model will get a training like this it may get a training like this and because of this the model is generating the output then we come to unsupervised learning because life is very unpredictable right anything can come so it is the it is related to discovering the patterns in the data like i'll give you an example suppose we you imagine ourselves uh, in 2020 where we had covid right so if suppose i am scanning my lungs and if i'll come to know that yes this is the new pattern that have recently got discovered if the machine is capable enough to give me a prediction that yes this is something related to this particular category right or the variant is this then how do i treat it so if this is something that happens with the help of an ai model then it will be easier for the doctors to analyze the situation third category is reinforcement learning so it is learning by trial and error we have heard about teslas right self uh, driven cars so again you know these people they are learning from the patterns especially in india this is something that is used and we always learn by trial and error then uh, we talk more on deep learning deep learning is something that you know uh, is analyzing the complex patterns that we have like facial recognitions right voice assistance and automate translation the way you are translating something with respect to google translate deep learning also uses few of the complex algorithms we also you know have uh, heard about deep fake right these are the things that are uh, trending nowadays so this is deep learning and it it actually you know analyzes the very very complex situation and the pattern associated with it if we talk about the applications part what exactly the applications that we have in real life so it is healthcare i told you i have given you a very classified example that it will be helpful for the doctors to uh, you know generalize the situation by just scanning your lungs what type of covid is present what type of variant is available finance we have seen 
stock prediction again it will be used for fraud detection if we classify three accounts a b and c and let us say if uh, we are depositing uh, x amount in a that x amount got transferred into b and from uh, b we are you know uh, withdrawing that amount however no monetary transaction is being done so this is something that categorizes under rotation of an amount and our model will be easily able to classify it as fraud so we have n number of you know cases where we can identify a fraud education we have at tech nowadays right Th there are you know multiple variants available jangru is one such thing right we have vedantu we have an academy there are bot system uh, available to us whenever you visit any particular web page as such you'll get to know that yes a bot is asking you whether uh, you need this particular segment or not and that bot will be helping you to have further things done agentic ai is something that is uh, nowadays you know used uh, worldwide autonomous vehicles self driving cars right we have a uh, few of the things uh, available in india as well however tesla is one such example entertainment recommendations if you you know uh, put anything on youtube you will get a recommendation based on the search that you have done or the videos that you have watched right so this is nothing but your generalization and the pattern identification how it works it collects data then we put we give it to model the model will train it then it will test it and after that it will make the predictions and decisions right so you imagine that if we have a self driven car and let us say if we have a truck ahead and the model is not able to recognize that it is a truck then there are chances of a very big accident right so that is something that we don't want to happen and because of that we want our reliability or dependability on ai model to be somewhere close to 100% or rather i would say it should be 100% in order to have a perfect alignment although that is something that is not approachable at this point in time but yes we are working hard on this so predictions are based on the data that we have inculcated and analyzed and then we constantly try to improve the uh, generalization that our model has done right through feedbacks or through you know taking different different segments as such so if we are training our model let us say on xyz data and we are testing it on abc data is the model reliable enough right that is also a question this is something that comes under transfer learning so we are working really hard on different different segments on ai and if we consider that yes will ai be you know uh, giving us a dent in near future so i am not you know authorized to answer at this point in time but if this generation learns to maintain an equilibria between care and creation then we will probably be you know having a bridge support that will be uh, giving a a, a a complete platform to the coming generations to create wonders key takeaways from this particular session is it is a very broad field we have multiple scopes available in this how we are you know training our models that is done now we need to use them we we need to assemble them to different different categories right we are using ai in our day to day lives we we have used chat gpt gemini notebook lm so these are the things that many of the researchers are also considering and yes generative ai is world widely used i agree but if this generation learns to you know devise them then again that will give us a, a different picture right so that is it i am concluding my talk now and thank you so much